How's it going turtles, tortoises, and other reptiles? It's I Wanted Turtle, and today we're doing another Pokemon opening. We got 12 more packs of Team Up, still hunting for that Magikarp Whale Lord. And we have a very awesome epic mail day. We have only a single card. Um, however, it's gonna be a doozy. When I did do my Charizard video, there was one card that I didn't was not able to talk about, and here he is in an ungraded form. Um, the craziest part about this deck, this card is, I'm just going to actually start opening, is it's a modern card. It's part of a Sun and Moon set. However, uh, so I, th I think at this point, like, people might already know what I'm talking about. But if you were to get this card graded and you get a PSA 10, we're talking like $500 sold on eBay right now. So this card's absolutely ridiculous and we'll see what kind of condition this card is in. So for our first pack, we have a Reverse Pidgey and then a Zeb Zebstrika. So real quick guys, if you guys do enjoy the videos on this channel, do me a favor and hit that like button, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications and thank you for all your support going to continue doing different kinds of openings keeping things fresh and exciting for everyone so for the second pack we have heliolisk buff padding kabuto dratini tentacool ponyta fire breathing grammar some smog a reverse paris and oh i see something shiny we got a mr mime that feels feels very off center Mr. Mime with the magic odds. I feel like this card's a troll card, but a GX is a GX is a GX is a GX. So, happy with that. On to the next pack. And as always, for all of our Pokemon videos, if you do play the online card game, you're unable to snag any of these code cards. Ah, going forward, I am going to cover the QR code as people in comments have notified me that there are bots that kind of just snag them up, which I don't like the sound of. So, hopefully this will help actual viewers pick them up. So, we have Ponyta, Mareep, Nidoran Reverse, and then a pretty cool Mimikyu. So, I hope everyone's having a good day. I am myself. Uh, it was recently Valentine's Day. Got a very cool little turtle from my significant other. I'm gonna put some code cards aside so I can give away. Uh, again, if you are interested in code cards, just let le let me know. Excuse me, in a comment below, and I'll hook you up with. Uh, you know, I actually have a lot of them. So I, at first, I wasn't sure how quick how much it'll catch on. So I was just gonna do like one code per comment or whatever. And I'll probably be doing more uh, just to kind of get the ball rolling, especially for people when you know this is a pretty young channel at this point, uh, and people that are supporting me. Um, in the in the beginning uh, I do really want to show my appreciation for that let's see stuff that's going on it was recently Pokemon Go Community Day it was a swing up though so I actually didn't go out and go catch any Pokemon uh, I kind of just did what I could from my apartment I uh, was not able to get a shiny though although I can't say I'm all that disappointed uh, that's one I'm sure I could easily trade for. We got Execute and then a Rare Pincer. So, so far this opening is not going too well, but it's all good because we have a awesome mail day in store for us. Really excited about that. Excited to see what kind of condition it was. Um, it was kind of like a first time eBay seller, so couldn't tell from the pictures, but this thing could go anywhere. Could be in poor condition to a point where maybe I return it or it could be very good condition potentially get it graded eventually for a potential PSA 10 Ooh, Incineroar for again that, I think those things go for over $500 absolutely crazy uh, and that's why I don't have a PSA 10 already so every once in a while I'll take a look at ungraded ones see what kind of condition they're in see if we can get a good deal Alright, so, this tag team set, 
really like this set. Um, the, I think the next set's called Unbroken Bonds. I think it'll be a while for it to come out, I think like May or something. Oh, but another exciting thing is if people are interested in knowing about what might come in Unbroken Bonds, I am starting to, we got a thick giratini, starting to order some of the future sets in the Japanese variety. They do take a while to get here, so I think after they ship, sometimes it takes like up to a month for it to, for me to get it in my hands, so shipping does take a while, uh, but it's kind of cool. So there's two different ones that, are, that I have made purchases, and so we can kind of see, get a sneak peek of what might be coming in Unbroken Bonds. Uh, so that the ones in particular, there's a full metal wall set coming box and then the one that just got announced it's like double fire something oh, like man when when they're hits i think when they're hits you can kind of see a little shiny on the edges i was wrong actually i think it's the reverses sometimes i can see it but th th that definitely did happen for these two gx pulls but anyway yeah, so we do have some japanese product just to try something different see how that goes on the channel All right. Yeah, and if you're on Instagram, just like uh, look me up. I, I think it's interesting when um, a couple of people that started following, and then then I look at some of their stuff, and you know sometimes they have really cool art and really cool cards as well. So I find that uh, I feel like Instagram is ooh bills and nails. I think this might be the first time I pulled this card. Um, something that I have yet to get really into. However, there's a lot of quite a big community there uh, when it comes to doing all this tagging stuff <laughs> honestly I don't really know what I'm doing but I'll, I'll probably figure it out eventually or when it, all, it comes to all the hashtags and stuff like that <laughs> if you have any suggestions on how to get get going let me know cute little squirtle all right we got a tentacool grimer Pidgey our reverse is a buff padding this card's pretty cool Ooh, Nanu for a secret rare or full art supporter. So choose a basic darkness energy card or darkness Pokemon from discard pile, switch it with one of your Pokemon in play. Any cards attached to the Pokemon. Uh, hmm. Pretty cool. Let's see, grab a perfect fit. Not sure if this is a good card, but the art is kind of cool. Leaving that for now. All right, we still got two packs. We hit our, we had a secret rare. Very strong opening. Very hard to open pack. And we still got mail day. Let's check something. Okay. All right, we got two packs left. We got an Omanyte. We got Blitzel, some mushrooms, a big bird baby, the regular bird, a sword, a shiny cat in a ball pit, and then a very big bird. All right, last pack. Man, I still cannot believe that we have yet to pull a Magikarp Willlord. It's astonishing. I'm pretty sure I hit every other like card of one of its variants. Keep pulling this garbage like that. Kangaskhan, we got a star you. Poochiana, floating rock with arms. Joltik. We got a reverse Seb Striker, and our last rare card for the opening is a Pangoro. So <laughs> The Magikarp Warlord continues to elude us. All right, here we go. We got a epic mail day today. If I can open up the package that is. And that did nothing. Well, I'm assuming it's safe to cut along here.
All right, here we go. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what it is, but if you don't, drum roll and the Rainbow Rare Charizard. So let's see what kind of condition this beast is in. I'm gonna actually move the lighting. So it might be a little bit too much, but it'll help us kind of assess the condition of the card. Whew. Ah, one thing, if you ever do purchase like an expensive card that happens to be rainbow rare, especially if it isn't from the tag team set, like the, the textures is very there. Like uh, compared to the uh, tag team set where there's much less, it's very defined. Uh, you can even probably see it. And then when it comes to, uh, you know what, there's a, I feel like there's not a nick, but almost the way that the light bounces off at the very edge. Yeah, this thing, I don't think this thing would be a 10. Looks like the edge is slightly edge wear. There's one little white nick and a couple other. Uh, maybe this would fetch like a nine. But the thing is like the, it's very slight. Oh, that one's actually pretty defined. You can see that. But still happy with this purchase. Um, yeah, such a, for again, this thing, this thing is a, a modern card, which is crazy for it to be as expensive as it is. However, I, I don't know. I wonder if there was like just some problems with the certain print runs. Um, as you know, I'm going to put this in a card saver, so a different sleeve. Very carefully put it back in here for now. But there you have it. The Epic Mail Day is a Rainbow Rare Charizard from Burning Shadows. Um, I think when we when we hit like, I don't know, 100 subs or something like that, we'll actually open a booster box of Burning Shadows and hunt for a fresh pack pulled Charizard Rainbow Rare. It's very, very difficult to pull. You usually, you usually get like, actually this, this uh, box that we're opening right now is pretty good. I think we got two... Um, when it comes to full art trainers or rainbow rares, we actually have two of them. Uh, however, it's, I would say average, it's like 1.2 or three uh, per box. So, and then to get the, to get a specific card, it's just beyond rare. So, uh, but anyway, let's some look forward to when we start hitting some higher sub counts. Um, but that's it for this opening. Uh, so to quick recap, we got Incineroar GX, Mr. Mime, Nanu for our full art supporter, and the epic Rainbow Charizard. So there you guys have it. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, thanks for all the support to all my regular watchers. I really appreciate it. Um, it's very... Uh, heartwarming to see uh, you know for for a very young channel that uh, just a uh, number of individuals that are um, you know I can just tell that are embracing the content and I really appreciate that and so with that uh, <laughs> with that done um, thanks for watching I'm Juan Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time peace <laughs>